Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your monthly reading for September 2019. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Cancer. Off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Well, here you are, Cancer, the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is someone that's empathetic. They're loving. They're a dreamer. They're emotional. They're very empathetic, and they can be psychic. This is one of the most powerful of the minor arcana cards. Ultimately, her power and accomplishments are rooted in love. This is a romantic woman with intuition, a good wife and mother. She's more integrated into society than the king. She sits firmly on the land, a symbol of her connection with the real world and of other people around her. At the same time, water flows in her dress, denoting she does not repress her emotions. She is emotionally open to the king and brings balance. The throne is decorated with water nymphs and is surrounded by water. She's beautiful and fair and dreamy, and she contemplates a cup. One of her aspects is she can see visions in a cup. And she also acts, and her activity feeds her dream. She's creative with a strong will, and that enables her to develop her talents. This is using a gentle hand and staying in touch with emotional aspects. This is a person that might be quiet by nature. She might seem like she's shy. This is a very different queen compared to the vibrant queen of the wands. This dreamy, beautiful lady, she sits upon an elaborate throne, and that closed lid on the cup suggests her thoughts are in the realm of the unconscious. She sees visions in a cup, and she is a queen of emotions, and she's reached a degree of understanding of her own emotional depth and lives into a large extent in the realm of fantasy and imagination. She's often the object of love of others, attracting admiration for her qualities of gentleness and sensitivity, yet she has a certain air of containness, which makes her quite fascinating. She's highly artistic and creative, even mystical or prophetic. However, she's deeply involved in her inner world. Both the queen and the high priestess preside over the element of water, each at ease with the inner liquid. The capacity to feel freely, unafraid of psychic depths. This water queen is intuitively equipped brilliantly to decipher dreams, tarot cards, and synchronicities while preserving a passion for the mysterious. And she's very supportive and caring. But hurtful comics affect her more than you know, and more than she shows the outside world. Your second card. This is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Knight of Cups, Cancer. More water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Sun, moon, or rising. This could be a message, a communication. It can also be travel or the coming or going of a matter. This card has to do with romance and following your emotions and keeping on working on yourself. Do not be surprised if you change your priorities and go with your emotions. This is keeping warmth for a person and showing your love. Happy emotions and pleasant surprises. This person could bring, bring in a message. They're dreamy and emotional and they chase a dream. They may be making advances or propositions or giving you an invitation. This can represent your true love, your Mr. or Mrs. Wright, your knight on a white horse, your soulmate. But they're at least a good friend, they're honest, intelligent, and they're willing to come to your aid. They're romantic and they're looking for love. They can be fickle and full of conflicts. There's emotional intensity here. There is idealism. They're a spiritual seeker and an artist. They can be a flirt. They're also very impulsive and they follow their heart and dreams and they share their vision with others. They love art and beauty and they're always looking for ways to bring more into their life. This is a soul connection. This is someone that can be emotionally unstable, quickly fluctuating from feeling high to low. This can also indicate 
someone can use emotions to manipulate. This is sincere emotion. It's following your heart. Could even be making amends or offering forgiveness. Could be a romance about to occur or a strong passion for someone. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. This is also a strong passion. Number 15 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Devil. This can be a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is extra energy. It can represent temptation and bondage with limitations. It would be a toxic energy. It can be dark. This can be being chained by wrong choices, which would bring discontent and depression or illness. It can be wrong use of force. It's bondage to the material, sensation, divorce from understanding, someone chained by greed. Could be a challenge of repression of an illusions. Could be an oppressive situation that's controlling you or the situation around you, which would bring illusions of helplessness. This can represent a sexual relationship that has become obsessive and destructive. It can refer to a person with power over another. It can also indicate overdoing something too much overindulging. This can be a pleasure-seeking couple. The key words here are restriction and fear and shadow, lust, addictions, anger, emotional games. It can be serving what enslaves you. You'll need to place boundaries against users and takers. This can also represent a negative relationship with deep denial. This is the trickster. They're detrimental. Could be material things keeping you chained. What is it that's limiting your personal growth? Could it be abusive or obsessive or harmful relationships? Could be you need to confront your fears about financial security and social and material success. There could be a non-sexual relationship that binds you and it must end before you can grow further. You are the only one who can change it by using your willpower. If not... This is enslavement. But now you have the Sun card as your future card, which weakens any negative elements of the Devil card. This is your advice, the results, the outcome. Number 19 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Sun. This can be an Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Doesn't have to be, though. This is attainment and liberation. It's also a marriage card. There's enthusiasm, optimism, fulfillment, and clarity. It could also be a moving. This is happiness and success for the future with esteem. It's material happiness and success and attainment, and this is a good marriage. It's happy reunions and pleasures in the simple life. It's letting your light shine. There's contentment and joy and freedom and a sense of rebirth and simplicity. There is a resolution of these opposing forces with the devil. And now there is excitement and fresh opportunities. Fears and mysteries vanish. Everything becomes simple with this card, sometimes too simple. And now a cycle can begin anew, and good things can come into your life. This is achievement. New beginnings. And now nothing can hold you back except yourself. It's all system goal. This card reveals everything, and you'll benefit by sharing your true feelings. You'll be doing things like seeing the good in others, and letting your light shine, looking on the bright side, expressing your inner child. You could be empowering others, or seeing things clearly, achieving goals, and cheerfully defying obstacles. So do what makes you feel excited and warm inside. The Devil with the Sun card is may be a feeling for a need to hide. It's also understanding without knowing the reason why. This is the ability to tune into animals, and something's going to be uncovered or lightened. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ace of Pentacles, Cancer. Really good card. This is like a mini sun in your reading, so this is extra good has to do with material things, prosperity. It's a healthy beginning. It's a gift from the universe. New money and new success and new opportunity. It's the beginning of gain and pleasure and beauty. 
This is an opportunity for real growth, the beginning of a project, a chance to improve your health, a gift you can use to invest in future gain. This could be a new job opportunity or a chance for promotion. And it's a good time to improve your home. And you can begin building the foundation for the future. And you'll benefit by spending time in nature. You'll find fresh inspiration. Do not overlook this gift. It needs to be nurtured to come to fruition. It just will not land in your lap. This gift has to be grasped. And you're about to experience some great accomplishment. Now money can be found to begin a new enterprise. You could be recognizing your calling as your fate and chance. Each one of us is uniquely good at something. This is saying yes to love. It's a positive reward for hard work. It could be a lump sum of money or a gift. It can also stand for worldly status and achievement. So ground yourself through proper nutrition, exercise, rest, and leisure activities. And in love, this is a fresh start, and you'll feel blessed and secure in this relationship. And if it's about work or business, this is a grounding influence, and you'll be prosperous. The sun card with the Ace of Pentacles, this is success in an important personal matter or a project, and it's going to bring satisfaction and happiness. And now here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Trust your vibes by Sonia Choquette. Cancer, you've got take your time, card number 43. Take your time. Slow down and take your time. There's no rush right now to make decisions. You can't feel your vibes, let alone trust them. If you're overbooked, juggling too many things at one time, or constantly playing catch-up or racing around like crazy, being that hurried will not only dim your awareness to nothing more than a whirling gray fog of confusion, but you'll also miss the subtle, intuitive guidance of your soul. The pace you're keeping is caused by the fear that there isn't enough time left. So cool it. When it comes to the soul, there's enough for everyone and everything, including time. You're being guided to allow time t to work in your favor. Assume a more leisurely rhythm and trust that actually stretch time. The elements necessary for your success aren't fully present yet, and they're coming together behind the scenes. Wait a little longer until more evident. You'll be glad you did. Trust your vibes to wait patiently for the right moment to make a decision, and don't let anyone pressure you to do otherwise. Thanks, you guys, Cancer. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.